Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Victor. This is a game by Shorebound Studios. It's a platformer and a bit of a twin stick shooter, similar to say Bleed, I guess. I've been spending a little bit of time with it. I've got a game currently in progress on normal. I'm hoping there's multiple save slots because I want to start a new one for the purposes of this video and have it on easy so that I can concentrate on what I'm saying rather than worrying about dying over and over. So let's hope that I don't overwrite my save. Ah! Mobile save slots! Please make that a thing! I know it might be very retro to not do that, but it's much more convenient for me if you did. Alright, screw it, I'm going to have to overwrite my progress. That's a great shame, but we'll see the intro here. There's no voice acting, so I'll paraphrase what's being said here. But basically, there's two gods, Zane and Miss. Oh, how do you pronounce his name again? Mephistopheles, that's the way you pronounce it. They're at odds. Zane sends six powerful warriors to try and defeat Mephistopheles. He actually turns them to his side, so then you, playing as Zane's brother Victor, go out to get revenge and take out these six people who turned on you and eventually defeat Mephistopheles as well. And I, I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I know it's the old um, Greek name, but it's not in my usual vocabulary. So this will just go over basically what I just said here. Can I actually fast forward it a little? I can. It goes on a little while and because it has no voice acting, uh, it's not really worth watching. But here we go. We're into the game proper. This is Zane, our brother. He gets to use badass dual swords, whereas we use handguns, which is a little strange. And I'll get into more about that in a second. So Mephistopheles has not uh, has not yet noticed our arrival. We must proceed with caution. Why not lever leverage the element of surprise and engage the elders when they least expect it? The elders are too powerful even for both of us. For now, stick to the plan, split up and see what information you can find. Be careful, brother. Victor? Question mark. Should either of us perish, this must be finished. Understood. And then I'm going to be quiet for a little second just to let you hear about the music. The music is very, very good. I'm very impressed by the music. So anyway, here we are. So I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. You can use the keyboard and mouse if you want, but I'm using the left analog stick to move backwards and forwards. The right analog stick dictates where I am aiming, and the A button jumps. I have a double jump, and Victor's special power is that he can blink short distances. So if I use the left trigger, I can blink. And depending on the direction I'm facing with the movement stick, that's the direction I, ha I go in, and you can pass through walls and whatnot. There is one slight complaint I do have about the blink system, it's that if I hold up and use blink, you see I don't do that, I have to actually be launching myself into the air with a jump or he won't go up in the air. I think it should just be more intuitive than that and if I'm pressing up on the analog stick I should just go up, but still. I can use the right analog stick to fire in the direction I'm pointing. You can eventually run out of ammo, which is in the bottom right, or you can manually reload at any time by pressing X. There you go, you also have a special ability bound to B that builds up when you take damage or deal damage and kill enemies. And I believe that's it. So we'll move on a little bit here, I don't think there's any enemies straight away because it wants to teach you about the various movements in the game. Can I destroy that table? Yeah I can. That's a health pot, it doesn't give you much health back, but still. So as you can see we can use the, the fact that Victor can blink to gain extra height and also proceed through areas in other platformers you wouldn't otherwise be able to get to. So that's a very interesting thing, and this is obviously an environmental hazard that we're just going to pass through exactly like that. And let's just destroy these, we'll get some money which you use to upgrade yourself outside of this level. And then also some health, there we go. Now one thing about the controls on controller, oh yeah there's the the, the pulse thing, you can uh, um, upgrade the damage for it and the radius. Yes, now to go back to the controls for a second here, I find myself doing almost like a half claw, which is a thing that people my age might remember, which was very common to do for certain types of games in the 90s and early 2000s. You have to hold your hand in a very strange manner to get all the buttons you require to move the game accurately, and as a result you can actually end up being in quite a bit of pain. So I find that if I want to be reloading on the fly and jumping around while accurately aiming, I have to use a bit of an odd setup by using the side of my finger to press on the jump button and the reload button, and that does actually start to get very awkward and sore after a little while. Now you can rebind the buttons, I did look into it and you can indeed, the reason I haven't is just because I'm kind of used to the claw so I don't mind doing it, but you can rebind everything and I think what I would probably do is I would rebind jump and reload, I would put them on the other triggers so that basically you're controlling everything with just the analog sticks and the triggers because then you can just rest your hands in a natural position. 
And then there's also the, the mouse and keyboard. It might actually be easier to use mouse and keyboard. Can I use that while playing? I'm, no, it's already decided I'm using 360. Never mind. So with that out of the way, that's my one small complaint about the controls. So that's an enemy that you can only shoot when he's facing you. We'll go up here and just see if there's anything there. There is not. Enemies don't respawn, so it's not in that sense very like classic games. Like for example, if, if this was a very old fashioned game, I would kill him. I would walk along here, I'd walk back and he'd be respawned. So no, it doesn't work like that. Once you kill an enemy, they are dead. Unless you come back to the stage, of course. So it pays to be methodical in your progression and take out all the enemies. Oh, oh. I don't want to shoot his back because this will happen. Hang on. See that? The bullets are ricocheting. Although they do actually ricochet and hit other enemies, so sometimes it's worthwhile. And we'll just carry on here. So as I was going to say at the start, Zane, your brother, uses dual swords and you use pistols. So I, just, I don't know, I just find it very weird given the setup of the game, like that these two gods were at odds with each other or super powerful beings. And then you're like the brother of one of them and you just use you use modern day weapons in a not modern world. I think it's very much one of those cases where you're just supposed to enjoy the ride and not think about it too much, but I found it very jarring that I'm playing as a character who specialises in gunplay, a la say Dante or something. And, and there's other weapons as well, I don't just mean you just have pistols, there's shotguns and whatnot that I'll show you later on. Oh, yeah, this is an area where we just have to fight off a wave of enemies before we can get through, they're just spawning out the ceiling. Yeah, so I found it very weird that my my powers weren't, say, like, blasting fireballs at my, my hands or something, especially given that I can teleport. So I, I just found that very weird, I guess. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing, just that it's jarring. Ah, that is a power up, that's double damage. You can also get infinite ammo and explosive shots. They last for as long as that little thing is going to be floating around me. Don't really need to worry too much about dealing double damage on this first stage though. So I've been spending about two hours with the game. Oh, that was a bad idea. No, 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 no. Oh. I messed that up because of the claw there. Because I was trying to aim and jump at the same time. Yes, yeah, so I spent about two hours with the game that comprised of me playing through most of the stages that we will get to. Getting to quite a few of the bosses, but not actually being able to kill a damn single one of them because I find the game very, very difficult. Well, actually, no, I find getting to the bosses fairly easy. It's just when I get to the bosses, I find my damage is so bad. The fights are just fights of attrition, and as a result, I've been getting my ass kicked. Now, as I said, you can upgrade yourself, and we will get to that once we finish this stage. You use coins that you collect to do that. But if you die on a stage and run out of lives, my lives, by the way, are to the left of my health bar, so I have two plus a zero life. Uh, yeah, well, if you die on a stage to the point where you get a game over, you go back to the stage select, and you lose all the accumulated coins you got on the stage. So you don't make you make literally zero progress if you die on a stage you've not fully finished. Oh, I'm going to get hit here. Actually, I'm just going to wait. So my point is, if you find that you're not strong enough to, to kill any of the bosses at all, the only way to improve yourself, get stronger, to have an easier time at the bosses, is to redo a stage you've already done because the boss won't be there and you've not basically got any risk of losing your progress. You're not going to fall? Yeah, you are. There we go. So I found myself having to... Oh, he dropped a nuke type thing which just does an AOE insta-kill enemies. So yeah, I found myself having to replay this stage just to get coins to upgrade myself because there was the only way I could make any progress. Which I'm not sure I like. Can I get in there? That that normally would be a small enough area that I would be able to blink in there, but I guess because it's a different part I've not to get to yet, it's not letting me. Now there's two ways I can do this. I can sometimes get just enough height now that I can just go through the floor. And for some reason it decides sometimes not to work and I'm not sure why. There we go. There, I'm in the groove now. Oh. Ah, Haha, that was good timing. I think we're almost at the first boss. Mm, actually, no, maybe not quite. I never remember to use my B ability. Oh no, we're at the mid boss, that's what we're at. So he's just going to spin and he's going to fire at us with those, I don't even know what to call them. If we kill them, he'll start bouncing around, which he's going to do in a second. Mid bosses do respawn, for the record. Alright, so now he's going to do this, so we just have to blink past him. Oh, did I? I didn't do it at the right time there. And he's going to run away down there, so we're going to follow him. 
now we are almost at the first boss. The design and quality of the sprites, by the way, really, really good. I, I'm very impressed with that. Especially those molten guys, I like how they look. You gonna turn around? Yeah, you are. There we go. The bosses themselves, I haven't seen all the bosses. I've seen most of them, most of the elders as they call them. And yeah, I'm very impressed with the sprite work. I'm not sure how big a team it is at Shorebound Studios that have been working on this, but yeah, they've done a great job with the quality of the sprites. And also the authentic feel of old platformers and shoot 'em ups from yesteryear. I think they got that right too. And my complaints about the controls are very mild. I've still been able to, to play it, it's just you know, I can't play it for as long as I might want to because my finger starts to hurt. Right, now we're at the boss, I believe. Yes, yes we are. Right, let's see if I can do this first try. Oh wait, no we're not, we're at a bridge sequence first. So the idea here is we're going up and we have to avoid some electrical obstacles. Now, technically what you're supposed to do, I think, I'm going to show you in a second here, is just to keep on switching between them like this. Although what i found you can just do is vertical jumps and then do a little hop and then you can just stay on the same one and go all the way up. This is the area where I discovered that you have to actually do a little hop, otherwise you can't blink upwards, which I don't like. Oh, there we go. We should almost be at the top. Just keep on doing this. Just avoid that. Right. Oh, not, not done yet. Almost. There we go. Oh, that was my bad. Right, that's us at the top now. I'm on half health, just below half health actually. And it should be okay. Oh, didn't realise there were still some enemies left actually. Give me a health. Nope, just some cash, but that'll do as well. Ooh, I had to blink too early there just to avoid taking damage. Right, uh, let's go up here. That, uh, when I pick up ammo, by the way, my pistols have infinite ammo. It's ammo for special weapons once you get them. Oh yeah, there's another section like the one before and then we're there. Except this time there's explosives that just come flying in. Right, I need to get back into the same groove I had before where it's like double jump. Oh, no, I've lost the groove. There we go, got it back. There we are. There, yeah, once you're in the groove it just goes smooth. I'll be taking that double damage, thank you. Could you turn around please, Mr. Molten Core or whatever you're called? And that health is very much appreciated, although you don't really get a lot back. Oh, but I got another one! Hooray! Yep, this is the boss. Right, good. Alright, we're going to be introduced to the first boss. Which has a very smart intro. I'm, I was quite impressed with this. Because you can just see it crawling towards you. And there we go. So it's going to start off very similar to the mid-boss, because that's the mechanic we've learned. So I guess it takes advantage of that. Just to blink past it, but then he'll start climbing the walls. Oh, and there, there he goes, and then things start getting a bit difficult now. Right, I'm concentrating. By the way, that's the other thing about shoot 'em ups. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing, especially during boss fights. Eventually, when we get to the next phase of the fight, I think at half health, he'll smash through the wall, and we go into another sequence. Oh no, that's onto the roof again. Oh, I can actually shoot the spike. Yeah, you can shoot most things, actually. That's one positive as well. Oh, I think I triggered him going. Yep. Yep, we're going to chase him. So now I need to move and avoid the obstacles he's firing. You can also, again, shoot them as they come near you. Oh! Or maybe you can, actually, because I think I... Yeah, I don't think you can at these. Ow. Ow. It's actually very hard to control yourself during the sequence because you're very floaty. Right, now we're into the final section here. Let's see if we can finish him off. There he is. I'm not actually sure if you're supposed to fight him in this passageway, but this is what I did the first time. I, I, I just led him backwards and forwards through here. Until he died. Notice I don't do a lot of damage, by the way. And that's a recurring theme for all the bosses. And there he goes. 
So now Mephistopheles is going to speak to Victor, implying that he's basically kidnapped Zane. You know why I'm here, join us together, we can rule all of Eos. You've slaughtered my people, blah blah blah, you know, stereotypical rah I'm the villain stuff. So there we go, now Victor is to find the elders and kill them. Let's see what grade I get here. I didn't die, so I should get a good one. Keeping in mind it's on easy though. C is not good, really. So this is the stage select. Huh, that's weird. It's kept my collectible count from the other save file, even though it overwrote it. That's very weird. So yeah, we have access to the Molten Chasm, the Arid Wasteland, the Forgotten Sewers, the Shadow Caverns, the Frozen Summit, and the Twilight Forest. We also have access to upgrades. So we're going to go to there first of all. You can see on the left there the list of weapons that Victor can get. So that's a shotgun, uh, M14, M60, I don't know my weapons. Grenade launcher, sniper rifle, and rocket launcher, and you can also upgrade your your unleash ability, the, the AOE burst thing. So we've got 1,010 coins to spend. I'm going to buy one upgrade in pistols, and then I can't afford anything else. Hmm. Critical rate might be okay. No, I'm actually going to increase the range of my special ability. Hope that that will see me through. Right, so what we're going to do now is... I'm going to show off one more fault I have with the game, and the best illustration of that is to go to the Frozen Summit. So as much as I was complimenting the design on the... By the way, the music again is very, very good. As much as I was complimenting the design of the enemies, the sprite quality, etc. The variety, on the other hand, is not good. All the enemies you're going to see here are available on the other stages. And the reason I picked this stage particularly, and I think we'll get an example of it fairly soon, is that, yeah look there, the molten enemies are on the ice stage and it just it just feels like there just wasn't enough variety with the enemies so they had to use the same ones on every single stage and it's especially jarring to see fire based enemies on an ice based level that's all. So that's the point I was trying to make. Never actually got into the boss of the ice area come to think of it. All the other areas I think I have. So let's see if we can do it, I'll try and take it seriously and go methodically. See that's the thing about enemies not respawning when you kill them. It means it uh, behooves you to take your time and make sure you've killed everything before moving on. Using your... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Using your blink to get away from attacks like that. Now, can I destroy those snowballs? Yes, I can. One shot to do it, in fact. Excellent. Is these... Oh, no! How come that took two? I guess because they have seven HP. Oh, goddamn heat seekers. So another thing to mention, I think I've already implied this, but if you lose all your lives on a stage, you lose all your progress on that stage, you lose all your coins accumulated, you go back to the stage slide making absolutely zero progress. That's a very retro way to do things, and people looking for a definite challenge will have it here as a result of that. I don't know if there's an optional route to do the stages in, it's not like Mega Man I don't think where you get a power, it's just a case of, oh, just a case of getting enough coins to upgrade yourself. Maybe there's some bosses who are easier than others. They all seemed fairly difficult, only from like a too much HP perspective though. They're all pattern based from what I've seen and pattern bosses are definitely the way to do things because it rewards you for paying attention. I'm a very big fan of that. But yeah, the damage I was doing to the bosses were making the fights last an absolute lifetime. Ooh, I dodged that. I don't think there's any way to stop these spawning exploding eyes, so that's why I'm trying to eke it out. There we are. Some health please? Nope. We are, so they do infinitely respawn. I think there's multiple routes to go through each stage also. The game was described to me as being mildly Metroidvania-esque, so I guess there's only, or rather you need certain powers to get to certain areas of a stage, which may or may not be easier. That's actually one way it would be very like Mega Man, I suppose. Let's get that. Get that and jump up here. So I can start going over the pricing for Victor also. You can buy it on Steam right now. It's just launched a couple of days ago, or well, from when I recorded this anyway. For six pounds ninety-nine pence. So keep in mind that is the the British pounds price. There's also a uh, enhanced edition, which includes the OST, which, as I said, again, OST really, really good in this game. Which uh, the the enhanced edition is nine ninety-nine, or you can just buy the OST separately for two seventy-nine. And if you do actually do that, you're spending a little bit more money than just getting the enhanced edition. So keep that in mind. Right, where are we now? Just 
just reloading again in case there's a mid boss. I think this is a mid boss. Yes, it is. Hmm, I haven't actually seen this mid boss before, and it's exceptionally similar to mid bosses. Well, the one on the castle stage that you saw me do. There's also two on the molten level. Or was it the molten level? There's well, there's another stage with two ball type enemies as well. This is actually following me. I thought it was just bouncing around randomly, but no, it's it's following me. All right, so uh, yeah, I guess we can also throw in lack of variety for mid bosses as well, which is a shame. Stage two, yeah, stage two. I can't destroy these. Nope. All right, this is just dodging time. Oh, I can't blink either. Oh, almost. Bring it on. Bring it on. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Bear with me. I'll get back to the regularly scheduled commentary in a second. Hmm. Like, for example, yeah, what's down there? Because it implies I have to go this way. I'm tempted to go see, but I'll resist. We might also have to be on the lookout for weapon schematics, because I can't actually remember where I got it, but I unlocked the shotgun on my, my normal file. And that was pretty good in some situations. I need that. Just do a little hop, hop shoot. My fingers are actually starting to really hurt now as a result of doing it this way. My my wrist is just hurting because of the twisted angle I'm holding it at. There we go. Oh, I can't remember how to kill uh, kill these. I think you have to lure them into attacking and then shoot them. Then. Yep. Ow. Right, hopefully we're almost there. The stages are relatively short and actually you can, to a certain extent, I wouldn't say fully, you can just speed run your way through without ever really firing a shot. But you also might be encouraged to do accidentally by the fact that if you lose all your lives on a given stage you don't save any progress, so everything you did was pointless, so therefore you might as well just try and speed through because you're not earning anything by killing everyone. You might as well just go back into the stage again after you've killed the boss when you know for sure you'll save the, the coins you find. Ah right, my bullets are ricocheting off of the ice that he's th throwing. So I have to make sure... There we are. Gotcha. Oh, falling ice. That was very silly. I'm almost dead, but there's checkpoints. It's usually just the start of the... That was very silly of me. Oh, you... That was directly on target. Gotcha. These are all going to fall. Right, this might be the boss. Oh! I'm on zero health. I might as well just die to the first enemy out here. Because I'm not going to make any progress. I say that and then immediately refuse to give in. I'm going to get killed by a snowball. I just know it. Oh! Clearly, my aim is not as good as I thought it was. Get out my face, Ben and Jerry's cookie ice cream. Oh, yeah, that. I, clearly, I'm not invincible when I blink either. Because I was still mid blink when that killed me. Or the hitboxes aren't quite right on it. Which is entirely possible. Oh. So the snowballs will be infinite, but the other enemies won't be. So as long as I kill the other enemies. It doesn't really matter about the snow. Oh, goodbye. And that's going to get you gone. Right. Uh, some gold down there. Oh, that was well timed. Just going to ignore the gold. Oh. I didn't actually mean to start doing a speed run, but uh, I'm, I would die even harder if I stayed still, so screw it. Oh, I'll take that though. Ah, music stopped there. I think we're at the boss. Okay, I've never seen this one. We'll have a conversation. Oh, you're big. I'm not surprised to see you here, Victor. Your brother was a good man. What have you done, Christian? I will not break my oath to Mephistopheles. I cannot allow you to live. And he's known as the Frozen. You dare speak of oaths after your betrayal of the region. Zane did not have the power to rule. His weakness made him unworthy of the throne and unworthy of my service. Tell me where he is. I'm sorry, Victor, the Frozen. Alright, here we go. I've only got my pistols. Oh, okay, he does, like, death beams and what have you. Oh, I can't blink through that. 
That's annoying. I have to blink away from it, and again, I have to jump first before I can blink upwards, which annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it does. It annoys the hell out of me. And also trying to jump, blink upwards, and fire at the same time, my hands are genuinely really, really sore. <laughs> or my hand. The one on the buttons. My, the hand for movement is fine. Uh, that didn't even protect me. Uh, we're gonna die here. Yeah, any boss where you have to jump a lot is basically impossible with the default control setup. Or overly difficult, shall we say. Oh, why would I jump into the boulder? Because I thought he was gonna do the pulse. Is that not how his pattern works? Two pulses and then the boulder? No, it seems to be random. Hmm. Oh wait, if I stay down here, does that force him to do it? Yeah. Well, actually, if I can keep on making him do that one attack, that's... Can I just fire forwards if I... so I can let go of that button? Nah, I'm gonna miss it if I do that. So yeah, if you jump into the air, it makes him do the boulders. If you stay still, he'll either do the wave that comes down too fast for you to avoid most of the time, or he'll do the spikes into the floor. Oh, I'm one hit away from death, and he's nowhere near, so we might as well just die. And that'll be a game over. So we've now made zero progress at all. If you're into a level of what I would consider mildly unfair challenge, then this is definitely for you. However, I would find myself getting overly frustrated with the game as a result of the bosses being disproportionately difficult compared to the stages. But we'll try one more stage here. I can't do any upgrades. What stage was it where I found the gun upgrade? I can't remember. We'll go to a stage that I'm pretty good at. The Forgotten Sewer I find very easy to get to the boss, so it's just the boss again I find too difficult because of all the constant jumping and... Actually the gimmick with this boss is that there's a constant respawn of slime enemies like the ones I was just shooting and they bug the hell out of me because they're infinite so there's no point in killing them but if you don't kill them they hit you. And there is a trope of this type of game. I mean I don't just mean this specifically, I mean all kind of platformers of a certain type where if you get hit you get bounced backwards and you don't get to control your fall. It's like that in this and then on stages where there is fatal drops, which to be fair there isn't a lot of, but for example the, the fire based stage is a very good example. You'll very often lose a life just from getting a little bit of a tap and then falling to your death and I don't like that when you do have a finite number of lives. If anything, the addition of very easy mode where you have infinite continues let people learn the game that way, learn how the bosses work, learn how to get stronger, learn the optimal route to do the bosses in, and then they can try easy and normal one off. It might sound babyish or something similar to that, but it feels like that's what the game needs, because otherwise you're just going to frustrate people. Although some people do like being frustrated, I guess the portion of people who like games like Dark Souls and whatnot. And I'm aware I like those kind of games as well, but I didn't find the same the same level of fairness that I like here. Also if you heard Skype, excuse me, I was getting messages on it. But we'll push on, and I will start doing my wrap up because we are just at the point now where I'm just playing the game, but I can show off the this area. See what I mean there? I bounced up, I got hit by that guy's attack there, and because I lose all control of my fall, I got knocked back, fell down here, and because you can't blink I lost, I mean imagine if that was a death pit, that would be, that would be me at the point where I might as well just quit out and start again, because you need your lives on the boss. Um, I go right here. Yeah, I'm in the habit of always going right. It's the, it's the done thing in platformers. And again, there's no real point to explore because you'll lose your progress if you die. That said, you keep weapons you unlock though. Let's get over here. I don't think this was the stage where I found a weapon on, unfortunately. Presumably there's one weapon on each stage, maybe? No, I don't think there's enough for that. I think I went down here. I was just doing this stage last night as well. I would think I would remember the layout. Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm going the right way. So there's a door in the middle of the floor down here, I believe. Yep. Oh, explosive rounds. This will be fun. Give me some enemies to shoot. Oh, no, it won't be fun, because there's a bunch of... This is very similar to that first stage, except now enemies infinitely fall from the sky randomly while you're avoiding the electric spikes. Ok, 
Okay, so oh. yeah, that was gonna hit me, but I got health, so that accounted for the difference. Bastard. <laughs> Okay, now a jumping puzzle of sorts where we're on conveyor belts. That's just to make it a bit harder to aim. There we go. Oh, that was very nearly. It's not death if you fall in this, by the way. You just take damage, thankfully. I think there's another enemy. Yeah, there is. Screw you! Oh, nothing of interest there. Ow. Not a screw it. Just go for it. Oh! That's a conveyor belt that makes you go forwards very quickly. I wasn't expecting that one, I forgot about it. Get over here. Reload. We are almost there. This is shorter than the ice stage. Gotcha. Uh, yep, keep on going down and right. And again, you see what I mean about the, the same enemies being reused. There is not enough variety in the enemy types. There is enemies that do only appear on the stage, the slimes on the ceiling, the, the fog that you just saw as well. But for the most part, it's enemies that appear on every single stage. That was a good health up large. Oh, get away from me, Cloud. Right, I think this is it. No, very, very near now, I promise. Yep, here we are. So I've been waiting for you, Victor. Ulther. So it's the same gibberish again. He got turned into a mutant. So the gimmick here is he constantly changes floors and the floors that he's not on get stomped by those spiked vices on either side. But as I was saying prior, the thing that makes this fight hard is the constantly spawning slimes from those ventilation shafts. Still, we will persist. Why are the slimes not spawning? Oh, maybe on easy they don't spawn. If they don't, then this is going to be a pushover. Yeah, if the slimes aren't going to appear, I'm going to win this fight with absolute ease. Or maybe it's glitched. Yeah, something's not right compared to when I was doing this last night on normal. Slimes would constantly pour out of those vents every time I went near them. So eventually I was just getting stunlocked into oblivion and then getting caught by the, uh, the vices. Is the plural vice of vices? I'm not sure. Yeah, but either way, now all he's doing is changing floors and firing that one spitball, so yeah, I should be able to kill this guy. Not doing a lot of damage, as I was saying, so it's going to take a while. He might change... Oh, he's moving quicker now. He might change further once he's on half health. Oh, I teleported into the vice. That was very stupid of me. Don't lose it now. Take advantage of this situation. Oh, my trigger hand is really, really in pain now. <laughs> don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, a game that actually causes you physical pain so you can't play it non-stop. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Yeah, but once again I do sometimes forget to do the little hop you need to do first before you can blink upwards. Oh, did that too soon. Should be okay health-wise, though. My special is ready. The Corrupted is going down. And it'll be news to me, or new to me, what happens when you kill one of the bosses outside of the first level. Because <laughs> on normal, I couldn't do it. Granted, I'd only been playing for like an hour. So I assume with practice you would improve. Alright, he's dead. Was that it? Yep, I got an achievement. So it seems you don't get any power-ups, you do just get a base reward of gold based on your final grade, which was... Huh, a B. Okay, so yeah, for example, now I can go upgrade again. I would want another level of damage, to be honest, just to speed things up. So there's damage. Um, critical hit rate, maybe? Uh, damage of my special and then also critical hit rate. So yeah, now I'm actually stronger. Maybe I can take on one of the other bosses who, like they, maybe that ice one, and maybe my damage would be such that even if I was getting hit a lot, I'd still be able to kill him. I don't know. We'll jump into one more stage very quickly. Let's just have a quick look at Twilight Forest. And as I was saying, this has been Victor by Shorebound Studios. There will be a link in the description box below to check it out on either the website or Steam. 
or both. I forget which link I was given. It's a very reasonable price. I don't think it's an overly long game. It does kind of lend itself to replayability though. And if you're looking for a challenge, it's definitely that. Keep in mind that even... I mean, I was struggling on normal and they're still hard. There's also New Game Plus based on what I've seen from the achievements. So there is lots to do here. I don't find the story of interest. I also find it a little disconcerting that I'm playing as someone using guns in what appears to be a world which shouldn't really have guns. OST, really, really good. Whoever did the work on that should be very happy with themselves. And also the sprite work. The quality is great. And it's a nice retro shoot 'em up it's come platformer. There's no puzzles really other than the odd thing you have to do with the ability to blink. Oh, I remember why I got stuck on this stage. You could get chased by a big cat thing like Castle Crashers in a second and I wasn't sure what the hell you're supposed to do because he moves faster than you. Let's see if we can do it this time and then I'll finish if I, if I die once, see. Because he's about to come in the next screen, I think. Yep, here he comes. So I'm just going to ignore him and just keep on moving because you can't damage him as far as I'm aware. Keep on... Oh. Did I jump over him? Ah, yes I do. Okay. Ah, it's his back weak. Oh, a little collectible. I don't even know what those do, by the way. Are you dead? I guess you're dead. Okay, this is actually further than I've ever made it on this stage. Let's play on a little bit. Oh, it's a mid-boss. I can't fire. Oh, wait, is this the boss of the stage already? No, no health bar, so I don't think so. Constant spiders, and then she swoops. Alright, I've got the pattern of this one down. Alright, we should be able to do Oh, unless the spiders drop right on me, of course. Oh, she paused! That wasn't fair! And now she's ran off. Let's see what we do next then. Again, didn't really mean to fall into trying to go quickly, quickly there, but enemies on both sides, so I may as well head in the right direction. Gotcha. Ooh. Explosive rounds, thank you very much. Double damage even better. Oh! Victobot Bolt. See, again, this doesn't... I, I guess you're just trying to be silly, but... It doesn't fit the theme for me. But okay. Are we going to be chased by something? It feels like we're going to be chased by something. Oh yeah, we are. Gotcha. I was expecting that big cat thing to make a reappearance at me yet. Oh, I picked the wrong time to reload there. That was close. I want those power-ups. I want infinite ammo, please. Oh, we made it. And the music stopped, so we might be at the boss. Alright, we'll have a look at the boss of this stage, and then that's where we'll end. So, Alice, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Victor, I see you're as defiant as ever. You betrayed us, Alice. Blah, blah, blah. Die for nothing, blah blah blah. The shapeshifter. Oh! Am I hitting her? No, I don't think I was hitting her. Right, in bird form, you're fairly easy. What form are you in now? Some kind of animal. A bear! By the way, again, keep, on mi keep in mind, this is on easy. My other file, which was on normal, seemed considerably more difficult saying that. I am still getting hit because my blink isn't getting me through the length of our tiger. Do you see that? My blink isn't long enough to get through the... I'm going to have to do the bloody jumps. Which really, really hurts my hands. Alright, you're back to bird form. I can deal with bird form. Sometimes. My bullets don't seem to be hitting her when she's off the screen, which is unfortunate. Oh, he ran off the screen. Which 
platform are you now? The bear. Concentrate. Concentrate. Tiger, that's the bad one. Oh, I can't. Well, did you see that? Did you see the glitching she was doing? Because she was all locking onto me. Oh, again. God damn it. Steam bird form. Bird form is easy. Now you're in cheeky tacky form. What form are you in now? Bear. Back to bird. Oh! Come on, go back to bird. Go back to bird. Don't be tiger. Don't be tiger. You're bloody tiger, aren't you? Oh god! Screw you, Alice! Screw you! <laughs> right, I think I've shown off far more of Victor than I actually meant to. Apologies for that. Ooh, got an A. So yeah, I'm going to end here. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video or just want to support the developers in a free way, just leave a like on the video. It takes a second of your time, helps out a whole lot. And if you are interested in picking it up on Steam, there will be a link in the description box below. £6.99. Reasonable price for what may or may not be a short-lived very tough on normal and above difficulty platformer shoot em up type deal. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for more gaming stuff and ta-ta for now.